Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to fix problems with .NET Framework 3.5 in Windows Server 2012 R2. Last week I had a problem where uh, one of my colleagues called and said that there was a problem while he tried to install uh, .NET Framework 3.5 into one of the servers that we, we managed. So um, I was looking into it, basically I had a few problems in the past with that and I see that it's uh, uh, troublesome, it can be troublesome for some, um, for some uh, users, some administrators to, to install the feature and um, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can achieve the installation, the enable uh, enabling of the feature .NET uh, framework and uh, basically you know that uh, a lot of applications, a lot of uh, uh, roles are, uh, need this feature to be enabled in order for them to work properly. So let's start by uh, logging into my server. I will log in with my domain account. And from here, uh, the most, uh, the, the easiest way for you to add the application is to click to uh, add roles and features wizard, then click next, next once again, and choose the server that you want to install the feature. And uh, we don't need any roles, this is a feature. So right on the top, you will see .NET Framework 3.5 features. And when you enable this and click next, and then choose to to install the package it will basically go through the process and it will start uh, installing the package but for some reason uh, it's not able to find the repository items for it and uh, it will fail and um, if you try to uh, search to technet you will see that they have a lot of uh, things explaining what could be causing this and they state that uh, uh, few security updates can cause uh, .NET Framework to be not available for uh, uh, enabling after that. So the best way to do it is uh, using few simple uh, methods. And um, of course you can do it online uh, if you choose to uh, and if your server is connected to the internet you can do it online. Um, of course uh, using uh, the um, using the um, the deployment image servicing and management DISM and uh, you can um, enable it by using just a simple command which can help you to um, to achieve this so as you can see uh, the feature um, installation failed and it's saying that uh, the source files files could not be found so um, I know that I knew that this is going to happen and I just wanted to show you what could be the um, the outcome when you try to enable this feature. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to minimize this for now. And I'm going to open a PowerShell as administrator. And the command that uh, I told you about, the DISM command, if you have internet access at the moment um, and your server is connected uh, you can try to download the uh, .NET Framework 3.5 using uh, Windows updates basically it will search with the Windows updates so uh, the command is dism online enable feature and the feature name is net fx3 and then switch all and when you press enter this will launch the uh, deployment uh, toolkit the um, deployment image services and management toolkit and um, there you go um, I had problems uh, even though my server is connected to the internet it's saying that um, the source is still cannot be downloaded for some reason so uh, the next way uh, and the, I think personally the best way for uh, an administrator to proceed is uh, to use an offline image of a Windows Server 2012 R2 or 2012. This is um, um, 
this guide will also help people with uh, trying to enable this feature on a Windows 8 machine 8.1 of course and um, the best way to do it is uh, to take your Windows Server 2012 R2 image and uh, look for the look for a folder let me see if I have that here and open uh, under sources there should be an SXS folder and uh, you need to see that you have this S SXS folder within your um, installation media as well because I had a uh, few um, installation medias where I don't they don't contain this folder so you need to this is a prerequisite and you need this in order for you to enable the feature so um, the next thing that uh, we can do is we can use both uh, the command line PowerShell to enable the feature or use the GUI so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you both ways and they are pretty much uh, the same but uh, depending on what you prefer is it GUI or uh, command line you can choose the best way for you so um, I'm going to show you first the offline method using the um, command line using PowerShell and it's pretty much the same command but instead of um, using the online mode where the Dizen2 is trying to contact my uh, VESO server or my Windows update, uh, I'm going to specify the location of the SXS folder within my Windows installation media. So uh, the best way is I have uh, the installation media on my D. Um, drive at the moment it's mounted there so I'm going to use the same command basically I'm going to click once up because I'm too lazy to write as a normal IT administrator and I'm going to specify additional comments limit access this is going to limit uh, the and it's going to prevent DISM from contacting Windows update or WSUS and I'm going to specify a source and the source is on my D drive sources and then SXS I'm going to press enter and let's see if now my image 2 is uh, going to be able to uh, mount the SXS and enable the .NET framework feature you can see that uh, it's at 100% and the operation completed successfully and that is what I want to see um, if I go to add roles and features now and press next next once again once again I will see that uh, I have the .NET Framework 3.5 enabled which is the one that uh, I want to see now that I have .NET Framework enabled on my first server and I did it using off the offline method uh, using the uh, PowerShell and you can use the um, CMD, the command prompt as well uh, for the deployment image servicing and management too I'm going to switch to my second server where I don't have the feature enabled and I want to show you how you can do it using the uh, um, server manager dashboard and using the GUI it's pretty much the same uh, thing but uh, instead of uh, writing additional comments you can do it just by a few clicks on your mouse so I'm going to start the address and feature features wizard once again click next next specify the server that I want to install the feature click next and in here I don't have the .NET Framework currently enabled I'm going to proceed um, and I'm going to select the .NET Framework from here and click next and right on the top you can see I didn't show you the first um, time when I performed using the GUI but it's basically saying that uh, I can use an alternative source path and uh, um, it's saying that one or more installation selections are missing and the source files cannot be found so 
what we need to do here is once again we need to use we need to use the um, Windows 2012 R2 installation media and right on the bottom specify an alternative source path so in here you can specify where exactly is the uh, the sources folder containing the SXS folder and I'm going to specify the sources SXS and press OK and then I'm going to click install let's see what will happen now I think it is going to um, use the SXS folder, the alternative source path that I've um, added and I think this time it is going to fully work and uh, enable my .NET framework but um, let's see because things can, ha can go wrong at the end and yes the installation succeeded so I'm going to close this window and if I go to manage add roles and features next 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 I will see that uh, on my second server I have the .NET Framework 3.5 currently enabled using the GUI so uh, this is uh, basically I did show you two ways for you to uh, actually three if you are using uh, the online method where you can download uh, using uh, your WSUS server or Windows updates to download and enable the feature. Another way for you to do it, which I'm not going to show in this video, is if you find uh, the .NET Framework package, manually download it on the servers and uh, run the, uh, the execution from there and enable the feature. But I think this is the, um, the two ways that I've showed you are the best ways and the most easy ways to, for you to do it. So if you like this video, uh, please uh, hit the like button. If you don't like it, please hit the dislike button. And of course, leave a comment what uh, you think uh, can be uh, done in a better way. So uh, in my future videos, I can improve myself, improve the channel and um, of course, if you like the channel, if you like my videos, you can always subscribe so that uh, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know uh, in order for you to watch and see something interesting. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.